In this video, we are going to look at fitting a rear-facing car seat for a young infant. This is usually suitable for a child of up to 13 kilograms. Remember, you should never hold a baby on your lap or strap them into the seat with you. If you do, they could get physically thrown around the car like a missile, as you are not strong enough to hold onto a baby in a crash, or they could be crushed between you and the seatbelt in the event of a crash. A baby's head is five times heavier on their bodies than our head on our body. Therefore, they need extra help to protect their neck and head from a whiplash type injury. Because of this, rear-facing car seats provide more support to your baby than forward-facing equivalents. They protect your baby's head and neck much better than a forward-facing car seat does. This is because in an impact, the force is spread out much more, rather than being focused completely on the baby's neck, as would be the case in a forward-facing child car seat. It's recommended that children use these rear-facing seats as long as possible. Unfortunately, many parents move their baby up to a forward-facing child seat too quickly, when they would be safer in a rear-facing seat. Here's how to install a rear-facing infant seat. Make sure our baby's facing out the back window. Pull the seat belt out, giving yourself plenty of slack, okay, and just ensure there's no twists in the belt. Feed the belt across and fasten the seat belt in at the far side. Put our lap belt across our baby's lap and through the blue guides. Then feed the diagonal belt around the back of the seat and again through the blue guide. It's really important that our baby is comfortable and that they can breathe easily. So we need to make sure the seat is as upright as possible, but with the baby's head supported by the back of the seat and not flopping forward, closing their airways. When we have the seat angle correct, then pull the seat belt tight to make sure we get rid of all the slack. Make sure it's tight here and there's no obstructions on any side. The handle on every infant carrier can be at a different position. This infant carrier, the handle has to be pointing upwards like this in the normal carry position. Never ever fit a rearward facing car seat in the front passenger seat where there's an active airbag. In modern cars equipped to use Isofix, the safer standard of child car seat, which attaches itself to the frame of your car, you need to go through a slightly different installation process. For an Isofix rear facing car seat, you need to check whether your car has a solid floor or to put it another way, does your car have an underfloor storage compartment? If you do not have a solid floor, you will probably not be able to use an Isofix system that has a support leg, as the floor would not be strong enough to support the leg in the event of a crash. In all cases, I would suggest you check your instructions that come with the car to work out if you have a solid floor. If you are unable to locate your instructions, make sure to get a trained retailer to check for you. Here's how to install an Isofix base. We're going to use these indicators, which are red at the moment, to help guide us through the process. The first thing we're going to do is pull out the leg. The second thing we're going to do is pull out these Isofix bars. We do that by releasing this handle, and that releases the bars. We then push the handle back down, and we're now going to lock these Isofix bars onto the ice fix points in the car. You should have heard a loud click there, but also our indicator has gone from red to green. We then push the base back and we make sure our leg is solid against the ground and we do that by releasing this clip. And finally, we put the car seat onto the base. and the indicators turn from red to green. If you'd like to have this demonstrated for you and to make sure your car seat fits correctly, visit us in person at a local Check It Fits event. You can find one near you by looking online at rsa.ie forward slash check it fits. Thank you for watching this series of videos. If you need to look back over any of the videos again, you can do that by viewing one of the links that appear on screen now. And if you want to find out more information about this or any other element of road safety, you'll find comprehensive information on the Road Safety Authority website, rsa.ie, at a local Check It Fits event, 
or through our social media pages. Thanks again.